A warm welcome to all our viewers, to our series Natural Medicine. And today I have Brigitte Rumpold with me. She is an expert in the field of cold red light. And I find this topic very interesting because there is an incredible power in this light. And it can work on so many levels in the body. And how the connections work and what is particularly important to pay attention to when you are working with it. That's what we will learn about today in our interview. I'm very happy she's with us today. Hello, dear Brigitte. Hello, Karina. Best regards from Vienna. Yes, from Vienna. Unbelievable. It's nice that we can communicate this way. And I'm really happy. Today we have our first interview together. And the topic cold red light is a new topic for me, and I am very curious to see what you will tell me about it. My pleasure. Cold red light is a bit controversial as a term, because everyone automatically thinks of warmth when they hear red. And as the word suggests, cold red light has no warmth in it. And here, I would like to use some comparisons. If I take the entire frequency spectrum of the sun, then I have one large area of UV light. I have the very, very small area of visible light, and then a very large area again, infrared. And this very small visible area is the one that is actually responsible for that even we see colors. It doesn't contain any heat at all. And there is now another narrow area in there, that is the red light. This is a very narrow area compared to all the others. Green is even narrower and it has very special properties. We know it a bit from the feeling of the sunset. It is the same frequency spectrum as we have in dusk. There, we experience when we look at it and sit watching the sunset how good it is for us. Not just because it is so beautiful, but also simply because it calms you down, it calms your nerves. And it is precisely this area of light that is so therapeutically effective. You could almost say if you put that in a device, I've created a drug. And that's what happened in many places. But as a comparison, so that you can see this more clearly. For example, when I look at a candle, the inside is not red, but it is blue. Because that is the area of greatest warmth, greatest heat. And also, and I always like that very much, when stars come into the world, when they are born, then they are deep blue, they are in the deep blue area. So these are hot spurs, when after centuries of years they burn up, then they are in the red area. That means it is turning cold. So this cold red light no longer has any heat components and has very special properties that we can use wonderfully therapeutically, mainly because it has the property of penetrating very deeply. No other area of visible light can do that. The infrared, of course, but that in turn is heat, which then penetrates even deeper. But from the visible area, this red light area penetrates the deepest. It simply goes through the entire water of the cells, so to speak, marches through it. So we made recordings ourselves where we saw, for example, when swallowing a camera, to observe how vocal cords react to red light, we had an employee who swallowed a camera, then we irradiated it, and you really saw how the light marched in at the front and went out the back again, so it really goes through the tissue unbelievably. And of course it then has effects that have now been very well researched worldwide. One of your main topics is the field of research. What parts of these research results are especially incredible for you that you say, this tops it all? That's not easy to answer because this light is like a door that you open and it then goes where you need it. So it goes in the direction of inflammation. 
And because it has a regulating effect, it cools, but it also warms where it is needed. So as an example, if I take blood pressure, it can both increase and decrease it. It has a balancing effect. And that's why you can't just say that it only has these effects, but that it really works. Almost systemic, one could say. My favorite topics are about inflammation, because inflammation is involved in so many issues. So no matter what I take, whether it's an injury, whether it's a chronic event, there is almost always inflammation. Then I can also treat the disease, so to speak. Right now, I would like to refer to the results of your study, which I looked at, on the topic of Hashimoto. That's a very significant topic right now. What kind of results do you have there? So, I have to tell you, this is not from us. We didn't do that. It was an international study where you could really say that I think after three months, the medication could be dis continued or even earlier. But I really have to point out that I can't give too much information about it because it is not a self-made study. I just know that it works great with Hashimoto. So you really have to refer to those who really did it. Yes, it's great when we already have the results in black and white, especially because from academic medicine, only long-term medication is currently used as a solution. It's nice to see a different approach. Do you have other wound healing effects? So we have documented wound healing really well, extremely well. Perhaps in advance, let me say one sentence. If you supply this red light with the appropriate intensity, that is very important because many people say, yes, I know the red light lamp. You can't compare that. It's a completely different track. But I need a very specific intensity, and it's pretty high, actually, equivalent to a very good laser. Then I have these effects that we were talking about. So wound healing is a wonderful example where we see how it works very quickly is especially in the area of diabetic ulcers. So this is a very large area with great success where we have also done very good examinations. Right now there is another examination going on in the area, so a clinical study in the area of split skin. So if you really do operations in the abdominal area, major operations, how quickly you can get to the point where the wound heals again. It is really amazing. Decubitus is a very big issue. And what also comes with wound healing, and I'm very proud of it, it has just been completed, a study with multi-resistant germs in wounds. This is an area that is even bigger than corona, than COVID. Far more people die from these issues than from other things. And there, we really did very comprehensive studies of how well it can be treated. How can you explain that? Because you hear a lot about, here we have an infrared device, and here we have this device. You always tend to lump everything together. I know from our conversations that, of course, you have completely different advisory staff, specialists, where nurses really come into play. I would be really interested, where is the real difference in quality in this cold red light? What are you implementing with the patients? That you don't have to say it's all the same and has the same effect? Maybe already starting from 
that when we got the patent for this for this device, the question was, do we make a wellness product or a medical product? This decision was then very clear because the TU, the Technical University of Vienna, had already carried out very large preliminary studies in the area of information, so it's very clear we have to aim for a medical device, which means that, or vice versa, as a wellness product, I am not allowed to go to a doctor. I'm not allowed to treat with it in hospitals. I'm not allowed to make a single medical statement. All of these issues, but we wanted to, that was my declared wish, that with this, how should I put it, comprehensive, great therapy, that we can bring it to the medical profession that they give it to their patients. So that was very important to me, because otherwise we were always a bit underground and are not allowed to make any statements. Mm. And that's why it is a medical device, and it was complicated enough. We then did that, which of course means for the customer, for the patient, whatever, and now there is the difference, maximum safety and proven effectiveness. But it also means that we cannot refer to studies that others have done, but that we have to do them ourselves. But we, I have to tell you, our great wealth of experience is actually, we now work with around 60 or 70 hospitals and several hundred doctors, what we get from there. These are exactly the areas where the therapy continues, because that comes from practice, that comes from experience, and then comes the next step. We look at the basics, what happens in the cell. So if someone tells us now, I'll just give you an example, it's not up to date right now, but it's a topic. Let's assume in the area of Alzheimer's disease, there are already studies, and there is a doctor who has told us that he is already using it quite successfully. Of course, in order for me to continue with this, I have to do more examinations, but the incentive comes from the one who works in practice. Wow, great! And that's this huge treasure that we have there that resulted from it. And also through our nurses, who always adapt treatments to what is coming from the market as an answer right now. And that's what makes it so valuable in terms of quality. Yes, and for those who have not yet dealt with the topic, how can they actually imagine that in practice and implementation as a viewer, how can I use this? So the way we do it is that the device is rented for the most part in the first step. And during this rental period, the patient is consistently cared for by our nurses until they really are painless, inflammation-free, whatever their problem is. And then they decide whether to give it back or keep it. In any case, it will always be like a red line that we have to our customers, patients, clients. We also have a doctor who has a telephone hotline with us where we regularly have online consultation hours that can be used. So there are different ways, but the basic way is always the one. Try it out, be looked after, see how far it helps me. Because it does not always help everyone. So there are certainly areas we have roughly, you can say, 5 to 10% where it doesn't help. I have to say that too, to be fair. And then people give it back and that's it. But one must not forget that red light is generally not only working on these punctual situations, but it improves the immune system, for example, which I don't even notice at the moment. I don't want to apply that to us now, but generally red light has these abilities because the leukocytes absorb this red light, for example, or sleep quality, a red light in the evening. It can be a very simple red light. Red light on the solar plexus in the evening. And you sleep wonderfully. So much the worse that we have this blue light in the evening. Exactly. That is exactly the opposite of what I said before. That is exactly the opposite. That you get the sleep problem in front of the television, in front of the computer with the blue light and the red light on the solar plexus. 
is like a sleeping pill. And there are different things, how you can do something good for yourself with it. Or another thing I can do, I can take my laptop and I put a red foil on it. And in this way, I can, too, give me a feeling of calming down. So it doesn't always have to be radiation. It can simply be this effect of looking at it that helps me. Yes, super exciting. During the implementation, especially when it comes to other stories, we now had the topic of inflammation, but also we have tendon, bone, cartilage stories. How does the curled red light work there? So here we already have, and not just us, but I have to say again that there is very intensive research going on in Russia in particular. There is intensive research going on in Japan, for example, stem cells. Stem cells has become a very large area, and we are now also working on it. Then we just got in the result now, cartilage, the regeneration of cartilage tissue, is something that is tedious. However, the question is, if I start to notice now, I get a problem in my knee, that's where I usually have this topic, and I take the time to say, well, I know it won't be gone tomorrow, but I can now, especially right now, where I have to postpone operations anyway, I can really treat my knee regularly and actually use it to bring back a bit of elasticity and firmness to my cartilage piece by piece. So I noticed and felt that firsthand that you can really bring about a good improvement. Tendons, ligaments, that is, you might say, daily business. So we have a lot of competitive athletes who use it before exercising because they say that then the musculoskeletal system, so especially tendons and ligaments or the muscles, are more resistant. Marathon runners, that is one of those subjects where you can test it really well in tough conditions. Now, you are the only ones who really have this medical approval in this area. What is it that makes you stand out? How did it come about that you even developed this great quality feature? That other wellness devices, in quotation marks, just don't offer, just to simply differentiate there again and go, to go back to this security issue. Well, we were approved from the start. Then there was this big problem with breast implants. I don't know if you can remember, there has been great damage. So the EU decided to make a new medical device law called MDR, and all products that work medically must be reapproved. That was backbreaking, to put it mildly. So it took us almost two years, and I don't even want to say what it costs because you have to show clinical studies. Not many can afford that. I was very lucky, or we, our company, our team were very lucky because we did studies from the beginning. That was actually my personal passion, you could say. And in this way, we got there much faster and got this new approval again after two years. I don't even want to condemn others there who don't have it, because it's really hard to get. And not every small company can simply afford several clinical studies. We are lucky that we have already worked in this direction. I, I really have to say that was a huge advantage. What it means for the consumer is really optimal safety and proven effectiveness. In other words, the devices that people get at home or the doctors get in hospitals are exactly those with which the studies were made. And also we have an approval for treatment at home. This is a separate approval. You can't just do that automatically too. 
This is exactly the same device as the chief physician, physician has in the clinic, just a little weaker. And those are quality features that make us stand out a bit. And then, of course, the support from our nurses, which I would say is really very special. Above all, years of experience also play a role, especially if you have 12 years. If I lie at home now and I have my inflammation and my diabetes here and then I have specialist staff who can then tell me, yes, I already had 20 people with the same issue, then we do it this way, which of course also calms you down a lot. One of our nurses told me yesterday she got this very touching call from a young man who had spinal surgery and already had a device for his exercise. And then he called and said, I'm coming home now and I'm so happy that I can start there now and can give me this energy again and provide my spine with the help. So she said you could really tell how important it actually is what we, not, I would say everyone working in the area, what they do. Yes, if you tell it like that, you can now feel very clearly that it also has an effect on the psyche because this unconscious desire, you could just feel through the screen how he really says, I need this good, good information at cell level. And I think we're probably not quite on this level in research. Far, far from it. But luckily we still have at least our gut feeling and our general feeling where we can, should and are supposed to listen to. My very personal program, which I'm happy to share with everyone, is where I really use this red light. How should I say? Health is the wrong expression. There is a lot more to it. But how you can contribute a lot is because the red light is rather coarse molecular and so is the liver. I can do a fantastic job of detoxifying the liver and the spleen. My favorite treatment, the kidney, the energy that arises, that happens. I'm always so careful because I don't always want to say that this is the only way. I have the same with the frequencies, so I could do that. But there are just such benefits that we have with this type of medicine. And that's just really fantastic. Or the plexuses. I say plexuses and not always the chakras because when I speak to a doctor, I prefer to stick to plexus. <laughs> yes, but luckily, thank God, we also have wonderful academic medical practitioners with special equipment. So treating that for five minutes a day, then that was it. Great. And that's what I find valuable, that we really have this bouquet of tools like your company now has. And everyone can see what suits me. And just like you honestly say, it doesn't work for 5% of people, but when I know it works for 90 or 95%, and I belong to it, then it's wonderful. And then I probably have the courage to say, yes, I'll try it everywhere now. As the doctor also says, I now also use it for dementia. I mean, it can't do any harm. That's the big advantage of these therapies that it can't hurt at all. So there are no side effects other than positive ones, or none at all, or that it doesn't help someone at all. If we now bring in a bit of the holistic aspect, even if we may not have any studies on it now, we also know from TCM that the liver stands for anger and the kidneys for fear, and the lungs for fear of dying or living the topic of living space. Are there any connections from your experience that people who thematically provide these organs with a good supply of energy, that something changes in the environment, in the structure, in the consciousness? So I'm really sorry that I'm not with one of our nurses, or even all three would be great here, because they keep reporting that. But they're so camera shy, I would have loved to have them with me, because they keep reporting that the treatment leads to an altered awareness of the body, 
will also lead to the importance of mental development. So they tell me again and again that over time, you just feel when you get involved in this treatment and when you don't sit in front of the TV and treat your knee, but when you consciously focus on your knee and consciously absorb the energy, that a lot is going on and that you get a completely different approach to yourself. So that's what they keep telling me. Unfortunately, I can't do it as well as the three of them can, but maybe there will be another episode with the nurses. Yes, that would be wonderful. I always love these testimonials. It's always so nice because stories stay in our heads and then accompany us. And it's just nourishing, beautiful stories, and that is generally good for you. Yes, but that's always the thing, I think. During this admission period, when you are a little down, what will come next and more and more? And then someone calls. There is, for example, a state opera dancer of the Vienna State Opera. He even made a film where he said, that saved my career. I couldn't have continued any more. And then you know why you're doing it again and again. Yes, dear Brigitte, it was so interesting. Well, not again. We had our first interview today and I found it very interesting. And it also motivated me to deal with the topic of cold red light in depth. I hope we have more meetings one day, not just via the screen. I'd be very happy. If you want to get more information as a viewer about the whole story, where are some sources? So, of course, our home page, we also have an academy page on it, where there are a lot of scientific articles, lots of films from users, from doctors who report, and from you, of course. There is www.repulse.at, then there's also a very nice site in Berlin from a pharmacist. But you can also find out about that on our website. And then, of course, there is also Repulse Switzerland, where we really have a lot of information, especially about the whole topic of mitochondria. That is, this is represented very intensively on it. So there are three areas where you can read a lot. Great, thank you very much for taking time to be with us today. And see you hopefully soon. Greetings to the whole team. Yes, thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Dear viewers, it's so interesting what you can achieve with light, especially when you have caught the right spectrum. If you are looking for more interesting interviews on this topic, please visit our website, qs24.tv, and you can also enter the names such as Repulse and then find further interviews and the contact details. And I hope you enjoy your research. Have a wonderful time and see you soon. Bye.